When Ron Jackson's broodmare, Tika Bell, dropped a foal on April 27, 1988, little did he know that she would blossom into a world champion and become the leading money-winning female pacer in history. Tonight, we honor Shady Daisy, one of the greatest mares to ever look through a bridal. Jackson's daughter, Tammy, and her husband, Lou Bowslaw, became partners with Ron and his wife, Sue, on Shady Daisy after the Falcon Sealster daughter failed to bring a single bid at the Kentucky Standard Bread yearling sale. Her freshman season was tumultuous. After a slow start, Daisy would go on to win six races, just over $105,000 in purse earnings, and take a mark of 154 and four. The game filly returned to the track as a seasoned sophomore and trounced her competition, boasting wins in the Reynolds Memorial, the Tompkin Gears, the Kentucky Sire Stakes, the Lady Maud, an elimination of the Fan Hanover, the Bluegrass, and the Clare. One of her best efforts was a second place finish in the Mistletoe Shilly Final at the Meadowlands, where she paced in 151 and two from the nine hole and was parked the whole mile. In 1992, her abilities rose to another level of elitism. She scored victories in the Breeders' Crown, the Milton, the Roses Are Red, but was probably best remembered for the threat she posed to the Great Arts Place and the U.S. Pacing Championship. It's Shady Daisy, by a length and a half, Arts Place, right there, second, three quarters, one, 22 and one, three sixteenths to go, they're on their way home. The wind at their back now, and it's Shady Daisy on the inside, up on the outside, Campbell going to work with Arts Place. The rest far back, a 16th to go, and it's Arch Place now taking over the lead. And it's going to be Arch Place winning the U.S. Pacing Championship in one minute, 50 seconds. When Daisy returned to Mayor's only events, she quickly demonstrated her superiority in winning four straight at one of her favorite tracks, Mohawk Raceway. The fourth win was a sensational triumph in the Breeders' Crown. Shady Daisy now by two lengths over Sarah Loren Road at three quarters in 125, issuing the 28 and 2 statement in the backstretch. And Shady Daisy with her tail well flowing out behind her now in high flight at the top of the stretch. Shady Daisy looking for her first Breeders' Crown victory and is pouring it on. The battle is for place. Moffy coming to Sarah Loren Road down to the wire. Shady Daisy for Ron Pierce wins the Breeders' Crown in one. 153 and 2. Moffy was second. Sarah Loren Road. In 1993, Daisy was victorious in 13 races, earned over a half million dollars in purse money, and posted a season's mark of 152 and 2. She also went over a million dollars in career earnings. The endurable mare continued game race miles in 1994. The highlight came when Shady captured her second Breeders' Crown Championship in October at Freehold. As they head into the final turn, Shady Daisy has put away the challenge of Towner's image, who has dropped out of it. Hop Irish is coming on second. Pan Hunter is third. Empty Fueling has a lot of ground to make up from fourth. They are in the stretch now, and it's still Shady Daisy. She is showing her heels to the field, bearing out a bit. The cream rises to the top once again. Shady Daisy will take her second crown with a powerful wire-to-wire -wire effort from Michael Chance. Hop Irish second, and Empty Fueling coming up empty here. On May 19, 1995, seven-year-old Shady Daisy finished fourth in the Mayor's Open at the Meadowlands to become the sport's richest female pacer of all time, breaking Miss Easy's all-time money mark of $1.7 million. Her illustrious career spanned six seasons, included 53 victories, 28 seconds, 20 thirds, $1,807,755 in earnings, and a mark of $151. She was voted Pacing Mayor of the Year in 1992, 1993, and 1994. She earned checks in 90% of her races and was a former or current world record holder seven times. Her team of owners, Ron and Sue Jackson, Tammy Boslaw, Lou Boslaw, caretaker Keith Hudson, drivers Jeff Fout, Ron Pierce, and Mike Lachance never ceased to be amazed at the courage, grit, and determination displayed by Daisy and her race.